Hi guys, welcome back to Quotes by Carmel. I am Joe Carmel, and I'm working on my churn dash quilt top. Um, I showed this a couple of weeks ago about making a, a churn dash quilt top and creating a churn dash out of the sashing. So I'm gonna change the name of this quilt top. It's gonna to be called churn dash sashing, okay? <laughs> I mocked it up in EQ8 in this Bella orange and blue, and I did make a block, all right? I'm gonna show it to you real quick. But I made it out of the fig tree, and this fig tree looks more like pumpkin than orange, but that's okay. So there's plenty of tutorials on how to make a 12 and a half inch unfinished churn dash, um, and I'll link some below. The only thing I did different here, instead of making a four and a half inch half square triangle, I um, I did it with two and a half inch blocks. So I had a solid print two and a half, then I had two two and a half inch half square triangles with a solid and a background, and then I had uh, a half square triangle with two accents. All right, and you need four of these blocks for each um, churn dash. Okay, but let me show you how the sashing um, comes together. You need a two and a half by 10 and a half strip and two, two and a half by one and a half inch rectangles, all right? And then you're gonna sew the rectangles on either side of that 10 and a half inch strip. And let me show you if I can show you how it'll create that churn dash real quick for you. Let's see. Sorry, I don't have a big design board, um, but I'm gonna see if I can kind of use my fingers and help you to see what I see. <laughs> All right, see how that comes together? And then if I put another uh, sashing this way and another block, I'd have a churn dash. So that's my thought behind making this um, mock-up. That was my creative moment, I'll call it, okay? <laughs> However, I don't know if I want a quilt top with all orange and blue uh, fabrics. Now I will make one and I probably will give it or donate it to maybe, uh, maybe there's someone that might like it, maybe a young man that might like it. However, I mocked this up in the good life, all right? Remember when I got this jelly roll that I won at Tea Quilts Retreat? I thought, ooh, I can make this and this will be fun. I'll only need 20 strips. However, you can't quite get enough out of a jelly roll. So I had to dig into my Bonnie and Camille strips and I needed um, 10 inch squares or four or five inch squares. And that's what I have done. Okay, guys? I am going to use 10 inch squares. So I've gone through all of my Bonnie and Camille leftovers i'll call them okay so i have early bird i have shine on i had good life and i have dwell yeah i think it's about four different lines here so i'm I, what i'm doing is i am cutting two five inch squares and then four two and a half by four and a half inch um, rectangles and that's what you need for the prints, all right? So let me just do one really quickly, okay? So I'm using my board to make sure, oh, this is a good example. It's a little short of 10 inches um, on one side. So I'm going to turn it this way. Sorry, let me move those and make sure I can get a full 10 inch by five inch. Um, oh, jolly bars would work too. I just thought about it, wouldn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it would. So I just wanna make sure I have, um, I can get two five inch squares out of this. And let me see, I have got to reach over, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> to get my rotary cutter. It was on the other side, okay? So, this is a five inch ruler. Okay. 
one, and then I'm gonna measure this one the same. That's a little big. All right, two. So I have my two five inch. Now, if this is five inches, it's not, I could have uh, just cut another um, two five inch squares. But instead, I'm gonna take my two and a half inch ruler and cut four. Tidy this side up a little. Okay, there's one. It's, I feel like the Tootsie Roll Pop owl. To <laughs> uh, Oh, let's see. Three. <laughs> and then I think he eats the, the Tootsie Roll, right? <laughs> All right. And the last one is four. All right. Here is what you need to make one churn dash block. You need two five inch prints, two five inch background, draw a line diagonally on that background fabric, and then you're gonna put right facing together. So a quarter inch seam on either side of this drawn line, cut it on the drawn line, and then you're gonna square them up to four and a half inches, all right? So that's gonna yield four half square triangles. Then you are going to need um, four two and a half by four and a half inch rectangles and four two and a half by four and a half uh, background rectangles, okay? And then you are gonna sew those together with a quarter inch seam as well. You need a four and a half inch center block background or whatever color you choose. And then you're going to need four two and a half inch square accents. And I will show you how you can put it together. Sew them together and then put, let me see, I'm sorry. I'm going to grab these. Uh, <laughs> there we go. So you can sew them together and have your 12 and a half inch completed block, right? And then on each corner, you could take an accent block and snowball. All right, so you can do it after you put the block together or you can do it before you can just run all of your half square triangles through before I've already pinned them on and I am just going to run them through and then I'm going to put the block together and then it'll be just like putting a nine patch together. Okay, so either way works. All right, here is my example of the one I tried to do with a jelly roll. All right, <laughs> I did very good creating it. However, trying to look for my one that's, oh, here's the different. I was one two and a half inch square short. All right, so I had to use a different fabric and it blends pretty well, but that's why I couldn't use my Good Life Jelly Roll, all right? I finished all my blocks and I have put them in arrangement that I like. <laughs> So it looks pretty good to me. I'm working on the sashing now, okay? So each sashing, again, is gonna be a two and a half by 10 and a half strip with two one and a half by two and a half accents on the end. And I wanna show you an easy way to do this, all right? I strip pieced, okay? I took a 10 and a half with a, strap, with a fabric uh, strip and then two one and a half with the fabric strips and I sewed uh, the one and a half accents on each side. And then I just cut them into two and a half inch strips, all right? And then they go in here, let's see, put one here. And I'm gonna show you how the churn dash comes to life, all right? Got a couple here. I still have to finish it, but I just want to show you how fun this is. Let's see if I have enough. Here we go. And then our cornerstones, two and a half inch squares. 
gonna pop them in. Like so. And then you get your secondary churn dash. Hence, churn dash sashing, okay? I love this. I love how it's turning out. Now all I have to do is sew my rows together. Uh, I'm gonna sew those together and then I'm gonna sew my sashing together and then put the whole quilt top together. Then we'll move on to borders. I did have to tweak a couple of things. <laughs> you know me, tweaking and twerking. Um, I made two striped blocks. So there's one and there's the other. I didn't really like how they look, so I replaced them with the red. This red and then I have a red down here. I was worried that I was having too much red, but I think it looks great. I think it works out because these are solids. So I don't have anything fighting against it, all right? So now I gotta work on borders. I'm, I'm trying to make a, a decision. I'm either going to go with like my mock-up that has this two inch inner border, or do I make it smaller, make it like one and a half, and then put a red um, border on and then put one of my florals, okay? I have so many choices today, I'm excited, but I'm a little nervous because so many choices means you have to make a choice. <laughs> All right, guys, I have put a two inch, a two and a half inch unfinished border all the way around the quilt top and now i'm trying to decide do i need another border all right let's go over a couple this is dwell i have it in the quilt top right here i think it may be a little too light i have this one it's um the good life in like a peach it's cute but I don't think it really helps. So I'm gonna take this one out. I have this red early bird. I think it's a cabbage rose. I'm not sure what it is. Um, let's put it on here. I thought I'd do red, but I think that's just too much red and it's missing the aqua that I put in here, the yellow, the green, and the navy. All right, so we're gonna take that one away. I have the same print in this aqua, um, which I have a block down here, but I don't, I don't think that would help much either. And I may be able to use this on the back. <laughs> then I have this Good Life and it is gorgeous, guys. I ordered this from Esty once I won that jelly roll. Um, and so what if I were to do it? It has all the colors, it has the aqua, the peach, the red, the green. Only thing that's missing is the yellow, but I only have one block for the yellow. Do you think that would work? Or do you think like I need a little inner red border? I think this might be too much, you know? So what if guys, what if I left it alone <laughs> and just left it like this and it'd be 59 by 73. I think it might work because I did not finish off my churn dashes. I think if I would have finished them off and then put a border on, I'd like it better. But I think this is going to be it. This is churn dash sashing, okay? 59 by 73. And I am, I have a mock of a course that I can make available, but I am trying to write up a pattern and that's not easy step by step. So I am working on that as well, okay? But it will be available on quiltsbycarmel.com, all right? Once I finish that, I will upload everything to quiltsbycarmel.com. Love how it turned out. This is a great pre-cut quilt top, 20, 10 inch squares are 20 times four. No, yeah, 20 times four is 80. Are 80 uh, five inch squares. Either one will work, okay? You need, again, you need like, I would say two and three quarters of background since I put this um, border on, okay? And a yard of accent, all right? 
So thank you guys for watching. Give me your thoughts and comments. Do you think I should go back and put a border on? If so, let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye guys.